Have you ever wanted to add a light source to your photo, but it ends up looking unrealistic and fake? Well, let's fix that in Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. So whenever I try and add in a light source to an image, it ends up looking either unrealistic or just simply fake. And that is because we're adding it to the entire luminance range of the image, which is not how it works in real life. You want to add it just to the highlight regions of your photo. So how can we do that in Lightroom? Well, firstly, you want to create that glow effect. So what we're gonna do is open up our photo and we're gonna go ahead over to the masking panel. Then what we're gonna do is drop down to where you can see it says radial gradient. In this case, I'm just gonna add a nice big gradient on the right-hand side of the image to replicate the sun. Now what I wanna do is go down to my exposure first. I'm gonna go ahead and increase that by 0.5 of an exposure. Then I'm gonna go to my highlights. I'm gonna increase that by around 25 and it's the same with the shadows. Now I wanna add a nice warm glow, so I'm gonna to go to my temperature slider here, I'm gonna increase that by around about 20. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way down to my effects, I'm gonna to go to my clarity here, I'm gonna drop that down by minus 20, and then dehaze by minus 10. But the problem is, is adding it also to the shadows, and we don't necessarily want to do that. A natural glow will only affect the highlight regions. So what we're gonna do is with our mask selected, we're gonna go down to the subtract icon and we're gonna go all the way down to luminance range. Now inside the luminance range, we want to make sure we've got our inverted button ticked and we want to remove this effect from the shadow areas to make it look a lot more realistic. So what we're gonna do is go to our luminance range here and remove that effect from the left hand side, which is where our shadows are found going for an effect similar to this. Now this might be different for your photo. So to check that, just go to your show luminance map well, what we wanna do is remove it from those black sections of our image here. I'm gonna go all the way, probably gonna go for an effect similar to this. And as you can see, it now looks a lot more realistic. So what I can do is show you the before and the after. We can see we're adding in this natural glow without affecting the shadows, making this look so much more realistic than just simply adding in a glow effect. Here is the before and here is the after. And make sure to write it down in the comments below if this tutorial helped you out.